Video number eight, everybody. Welcome back to the Voice Meter series. One of the first ones, really, I haven't really seen it on YouTube at all. Um, King Yeshua. I'll be going over each and every part of Voice Meter and Voice Meter Banana, uh, primarily showing what Voice Meter Banana is, and particularly some parts of Voice Meter Potato, but I stayed on Banana of uh, most of the whole series. So I'm going over the importance of learning and understanding what audio is and using voice mirror banana in that case to show you guys how to use uh, eight by eight matrix and how to EQ your voice and how to do different inputs and outputs and connect it to other software. So um, primarily, um, if you guys want another video or add on or you're not sure about a certain topic or a certain question you may have, definitely let me know in the comments or even in the YouTube community as well. And we'll be going over it in one to two days. It depends on like how many uh, people are asking questions. So I try to get to you really quick. Um, this is mainly for the tape recorder and how the tape recorder is used and not much uh, technical or deep stuff into it. Just basic stuff that you should know already and um, how to use it and how to uh, store your files in certain locations like subfolders or folders. So let's get right in it. And I'm glad I can show you guys this stuff. All right, so here is the tape recorder. Uh, this is primarily used to record your voice at a certain hurt or a channel and be able to save it and use it in a Sony Vegas or a Adobe Premiere type of uh, software. So to reuse it um, and or to listen to it or any type of idea you may have, this is primarily what this is used for. But I want to um, B-roll to the Discord because uh, we are growing a Discord and we're looking for more people to do games with. We'll eventually have a Discord for CYBE in general, but this is CYBE Gamers Guild. So uh, we'll primarily have something where we'll have tournaments or any type of um, ideas you, may, you guys may have. We'll definitely be doing that as well. So definitely join the Discord and let me know once you join in by uh, chatting inside of the uh, channels right here. So let's go back to the voice meter banana and I say we want to pick a certain location to look at our files, right? Um, I generally want to do a right click on my mouse and I could choose a location, right? So before I even get to that, um, we want to understand what these buttons are and a lot of people take it for granted, but it's very simple and self-explanatory. So these buttons are basically the rewind and fast forward, the play button, the stop button, and the record button. Depending on how we use it, we can record at any time. I want to primarily make sure you guys know each and every part of the layout because all this is just a GUI. It's all just programs and little uh, attachments to the program to make everything work. We covered that. We covered the bottom. This piece right here is your Hertz and it's like your sample uh it's your sound format so it's for like sampling and all that stuff this is primarily for your channels and um it's for a 5.1 or 7.1 or two channels for stereo and one channel is mono so um it depends on how you set up your uh, voice meter banana in general and then uh this is by documentation this is the current arm strip slash bus and uh, i'll just right click on it this is where you want to um, equip and unequip certain inputs to your virtual or your physical uh stuff right here and you see it right here i might zoom in in the editing it's uh being toggled off so that's how you would take it off and then right here is it just it just uh, measuring your levels for your input so i'm using a hardware input it is measuring um, how everything is going through this tape recorder, this virtual tape recorder. And then uh, this this would show your file name directory and where you were saved, but I, we haven't chosen one yet, but we will be choosing one in a little bit. All these right here are just like your routing, your routing for your uh, playback. So that's like the layout. Let's get into how we will want to place our files. You can choose any location, you can choose any location we want, but I'll probably keep it in the documents and voice meter. And it's basically just going to that directory and then just finding it. And then we can put a prefix name. Um, if we put a prefix name, this is uh, where it would be um, a part of your multi-track option. To say if you, you make one um, audio, we can um, potentially put a prefix name. So we could put a um, pre-fader input. Pre-fader input test. 
So then that'll be our, our idea. Generally with stuff like this, with applications like this, we don't usually want spaces. So for me, I just put underscores if I really want to see it. Or you can put a dash from what it looks like. And I say like that because you can not let people put certain characters in coding. So we um, we went over the um, GUI and where to put your audios here and then a prefix name. So we went over some of the options. This is primarily just all the recording options. Um, down over here, we will want generally a um, an idea of each and every one. So when I was saying uh, pre fader inputs, the pre fader inputs is just an option where it allows you to record one of all inputs in a stereo or mix together and uh, independently from the fader gain in all FX, mute, and solo states. Uh, this option is made to record uh, original incoming audio single, but all sources are mixed together with its original gain. So pretty cool. Uh, the post fader output, that is a another option where it is made to record the outputs of your bus from two to eight channels. So it goes all the way up to the um, surround sound, the 5.1, the 7.1, that's how you name it, and surround. Um, and that is possible within a composite options. So in other words, this option allows to record what you hear on the selected bus. Um, quick note though, um, that you can uh, use a bus not connected, but um, the audio device can make a source signable only for creating, uh, only for recording, I meant. Recording or recording, similar thing. Um, so yeah, and then we have the file options. The file options, the target directory and prefix of the file name can be defined by clicking on the uh, related field and select new directory or under or uh, enter new uh, prefix. A prefix is just uh, the name I was explaining. So it will be, so actually um, it will be called record if nothing is defined. So that's one thing too. And then we're, we're just explaining everything and we're getting to the juice of when we would record. Um, so the file format would generally be including the sample rate. It will include um, independently um, within the format used by voice meter. And uh, for example of that, the recording file format can be set in 48 kilohertz, while uh, voice meter is running in 44 kilohertz. Then the multi-track option, um, if it's set to yes, the recording will also generate one file per track channel. File name will be um, suffix by like underscore track one. This is what I was talking about from before. The underscore track two, the underscore track three, uh, according to the uh, number of channels uh, defined for that file format. So if you choose this, if it's yes, and right now it's no, um, you'll be able to have different tracks layered out. So if you have four tracks, it'll be the same thing. Track one, track two, track three, and be a track four. So that's really useful. That's actually really, really useful in general in any type of video and audio production. So that's multi-track. Then um, uh, the simple stuff here, that's like the most technical thing right there. The play on load is just the playback, um, playing back the file automatically just after selecting it. The loop is self explanatory The loop is just the playback that the file is in the loop continuously. And then uh, the playback gain is what we can play with here. And then we can double tap to put that back. And uh, that's just a slider for the gain of the audio being played back. So it doesn't really pertain to the recording, but that's within uh, everything that you have here. So you can put up the volume at any point, right? Yeah, that's really it. And then the last part is uh, stop record after duration. It lets you define the time of the record session. It's a simple timer that will stop recording automatically after the given duration. Set it to zero, zero, uh, colon, zero, zero, colon, zero, zero. So like all zeros, it hasn't started to disable it, right? So this is for example, practical to record a movie or podcast within a known duration. That's pretty freaking awesome. So right here, we put a zero, 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 zero to not disable it. But say if we want to um, stop our recording of the duration of five seconds, right? And then this is minutes and then this is hours. That would happen within five seconds, right? So stop record at the duration. So you're just putting a time at that. And it goes to no. It goes to zero seconds and saying no. That's really it. That's all of what the recorder is. Let's test it and use it. So let's go back. Let's click here and I'm recording. We're going to be listening to ourselves on this. So it's going to be pretty funny. But uh, we're going to stop the recording right here. We're going to do a few tests with this. 
so let's start the recording here let me see here and then we stopped it stop recording and then we hit the stop button so og shit and then now we see that the location of the file is at this directory path so now we can click and we can just navigate to that. Just know where your folder is basically. You know, wherever you put it, just know where it is. And then we're going to the voice meter. And now we have three. We have three of these recordings made just now. So let's go ahead and listen to the first one. And it's in a wave file. So that's fine. You're right. Yeah, I'm gonna listen to my headphones right over here. Let's click here and I'm recording. We're going to be listening to ourselves on this, so it's going to be pretty funny. But uh, we're going to start the recording right here. We're going to do a few tests with this. So uh -huh. let's start the recording here. Uh -huh. <laughs> and then uh, you heard me talking over it, which I perceived that possible. So that's freaking awesome. We just got that through pretty nicely. Uh, let's listen to the other ones. That was on what? That one. Let's go back here. Um, let's click here, and I'm recording. We're going to be listening to our songs on this, so it's going to be pretty funny. But uh, we're going to stop the recording right here. We're going to do a few tests with this. So let's stop the recording here. You guys get the idea. So it's similar to the 8x8 game matrix video I did. Definitely um, click on the playlist area on YouTube and see where you can now see all the videos within the playlist because this video is within a playlist. And uh, once you're done with this one, definitely check out that video because it's similar to what we're doing, but we're doing it live. So a lot of stuff you can do on voice meter, voice meter banana, voice meter potato, and people don't realize. Let's go ahead and stop that completely. There's some OG stuff right here. Like It teaches you how to use a cassette tape. Like, oh, this is, well, I stopped the recording and stopped, so not just one button, you gotta click two buttons. But then now I can select uh, different pieces and record a specific, uh, specific piece instead of recording everything. So yeah, that's really it. Um, that's the depth of it, and then we can change the gain here, then the uh, stop record and then the loop and then the play on load. If you guys think I um, miss anything, definitely let me know. Or if I potentially uh, miss out a part or you guys are confused, definitely ask in the comments. The more engagement, the better. The more we can grow, the more we can understand. Awesome, Span Douglas. Uh, thank you for watching and more videos will be coming each and every week. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace out and take care.